There's nothing in there. So when they've finished eating, the lambs that is, and hoggets, I've closed this off so that I can get the lambs and hoggets to go out here. And I'm just hoping the alpaca don't follow them. Because another couple of years and I won't have to worry about them reaching over because the trees will have gotten higher because I don't want them to get the tops of the trees. And then they can graze in from either side. But see, I have a plantation here. There's a plantation there. There's a plantation down along the road. And then there's that newer plantation all the way over there. So I just don't feel like electrifying the fences right now. So I'm gonna open this gate and hope the lambs all come out here and not the alpaca. I can maybe close the gate before the alpaca come out. Look at how dry it is. It's been raining a lot during the night. This is under this uh, copper beech. This copper beech was planted by my brother 40 years ago, 40, over 40 years ago. And uh, it's dry, dust dry. A few bits of wetness on the stones. Otherwise, it's bone dry under the beech tree. Oops, I better close this gate. I just use this for this. And that just holds it. Up, oh, and here comes the rain. I'm gonna stand under the beech tree because I know it'll keep me dry. Java, no, that's bold, not to do that. You know what the word bold means, don't you? Yeah, good boy. No, don't go back there, you stay here, good boy. Java, Java, I said no. Ah, uh -uh. Java, come back, good boy, atta boy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yes. Excuse me. I did not say you could go there yet. Wait. 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 Java? No. He's still learning.
one. Hey, 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 hey. Easy does it, dog. No, you're not going that way. Come on. Come on, babies. Now I'm gonna grab the gate in case the alpaca come out. Brindle, come back here. Afraid not, ladies. Nope, go on. Brindle, leave it. Now, I think you few can stay here, lambs. No, you're not. Most of the flock is there. Come on, you guys go. Go on. There we go, sort them out. Okay. Ha! Tactical herding. The alpaca can go back in there. Temporary close. And whoop! It might be wet, and there are a few slippery places. Okay, now. Come on, girls. Come on, babies. So now the flock is in the field with more grass in it. Not fair to the alpacas, but the alpacas are fine. There's plenty for them to eat and trees for them to browse over here. The sheep only get so high and the alpaca can get higher. Hence, I have to keep them away from my plantations. Okay, you guys can come out here now. They want to go into the field as well. Mm. They're like, why can't we go in here? We know there's lots of delicious nibbly leaves. Mm. Annoyed. Mm. Annoyed they can't go in there with their flock. Mm. Autumn colors are beginning to show themselves. The red oak is turning. And the maple in the background is turning red as well. Sumac hasn't turned yet. This is the staghorn. I do love red oak though. The flock has spotted me and thinks I'm feeding them something. <laughs> I'm just looking at trees. I'm just looking at trees turning autumn colors, sheepies. You can see the field all the way over there. They've wrapped their silage or haylage. Anyway, looking at trees turning colors.
Java! No, that's bold.
Uh, excuse me. No. Brindle, go get the rest of them. Will you go up there and get them? Come on. Brindle. Hup. Get them. Come on. <whistles> Atta girl. Okay, leave it. Good girl. Hey, beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful kitty. You're so gorgeous. Now, I can close the gate. Without any incidents of escape this time. Oh, he's gone. Oh, there he is. Night, night, ladies and gents. See you tomorrow.